Hello, this is Dr. Fareen Siddiqui, working as a professor at a School of Engineering, Sciences and Technology, and additionally taking the charge of Dean of the School. Today, I am thankful to the organizer of this conference, Virtual IRST, for inviting me to deliver a keynote speech. I have chosen the research area subject independent. EG signal analysis. I am working for past six to seven year in the area of machine learning and recently worked on the topic subject independent EEG signal analysis and what we have researched upon I would like to share with the audience in this presentation today. First of all EEG signal acquisition is a non-invasive procedure. The main advantage of using any machine learning algorithm dealing with mental diseases or mental impairment rely on the use of EEG signal. The main advantage of EEG signal is that it is a non-invasive procedure. When we acquire EEG signal of any subject, it is just a cap that has to be put on the head of the subject that can record the brain signal in form of EEG and store it in some output device. Now, the main application of EEG signal in case of healthcare is increasing day by day because of the tools that are available for analysis of EEG signal and recent development in AI and machine learning. Now, here the EEG signal database that we have worked upon consists of channels, time series corresponding to channel between 32 and 256. And each of the time series represents a electrical potential at the subject cap. As depicted in the figure, there are 32 electrodes that are present in the cap because the positioning of this electrode is as per the area of the brain and each area of the brain generates unique signal pertaining to a specific task. Now since we are looking at the problem of EEG signal analysis for healthcare applications, we tend to use EEG signal as an input to convolutionally neural network. The reason of using CNN for EEG signal analysis is that it is a time series data. The signal that is generated by the brain are in, are in the function of time and they are dependent on the previous signal. The current signal is quite dependent on the current signal. Now, with this indications, we have come to the conclusion that convolutionally neural network that accepts a time series data or image data can be used to analyze EEG signal. The EEG signal data that we have used here is taken from BCI competition data set and the signal is converted into its power spectrum density values before feeding it into the CNN model. The methodology that is employed is depicted in the figure. For each of the subject, the training file are rearranged according to the mental task performed. For example, the problem here that we were dealing with was considering the classification of the mental task performed. There were three tasks that were taken as the output class. The one is the movement of the right hand, imaginary movement. Second is the imaginary movement of the left hand. And third one is imagination of uttering of a word. The, imagination, the imaginary signal here is generated when the subject thinks about lifting his or her right hand or left hand or uttering a word. Whenever a task is thought about in the brain, 
ईजी सिग्नल कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दैट टास्क इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम द पर्टिकुलर एरिया ऑफ द ब्रेन थ्रू दैट इलेक्ट्रोड कैप द ईजी सिग्नल द रॉ ईजी सिग्नल इज कैप्चर्ड एंड स्टोर्ड इन आउटपुट डिवाइस नाउ दिस रॉ ईजी सिग्नल हैज टू गो थ्रू सर्टन प्री प्रोसेसिंग स्टेप्स बिफोर एनी मशीन लर्निंग एल्गोरिथम कैन वर्क ऑन इट in this case the raw eeg signal is converted into power spectrum density and features are extracted through a deep neural network now when the features are extracted from the deep neural network we want that these extracted features should be stored in a way that can be feed it into a deep neural network now uh coming to the step number 2 we since we are dealing with the problem of subject independent classification we need to uh, remove the high dependency of the signal on a particular subject for making the data uh, that can be worked upon any subject an algorithm to be subject independent we have computed the mean of the averaged power spectrum density values in pair of two subjects and we obtain training files and testing files for them for example if a person meets with an accident and he got paralyzed then we are not able to record its original brain signal in that case we record the brain signals of healthy persons imagining different tasks and if for example we have recorded the brain signals of 16 persons then these 16 person eeg signals for moving the right hand can be put up in such a way and given to the neural net to the deep neural network so that when the person who is paralyzed imagine the left hand movement that can be recognized through a machine learning algorithm the test subject data is also averaged with the training data to obtain the final testing data now we have tested the architecture of deep neural networks with different number of neurons and activation functions and we can see the accuracy that is achieved before this the work that was done for subject independent classification which reached up to just 60 to 70 60 to 65 percent of the accuracy now the results uh, that we have obtained is after when we are using cross subject without averaging the result was coming out to be the accuracy of maximum 33% when we have averaged the training data it the accuracy jumped up to 41% and when we averaged both the training data and the testing data we could achieve the accuracy of 85% it was significant improvement from the previous algorithms in this model that we have used the run time and the number of parameter used were comparable to the other significantly used algorithms in this area the conclusion that we have drawn from this research is that the main challenge in eeg signal is to handle the high variability present in the brain signal the reason of this high variability is because when a subject is imagining a mental task uh, without any consciousness the subject brain also get involved in other task the proposed work suggests dna based model for analysis of eeg signal in a subject independent way that averages the psd value and feeds it to a deep learning model that reduces the high variability in the eeg signal so that was the work that we have done and got published in a, a journal with a good impact factor for any uh, queries or uh, any uh, any uh, doubts related to the session you can contact me at my email id that is given here
Thank you for listening to me patiently and please contact me in case of any queries. Thank you.